We need water to survive in the desert. With a smaller natural supply than other parts of the country, we need to make the most of what we've got. I'd be far more concerned if there weren't an announcement like we saw today. Dr. Katherine Sorensen is with the Kyle Center for Water Policy at ASU. She says the new rule today from the state shows we are thinking ahead about water. This is really not about a lack of water. This is about managing our groundwater supply sustainably for the long term. The water experts at ASU say assured water supply is important. It's how they define how much water is allocated to each area in development. Developers now will have to build on land that has adequate water for at least the next 100 years. The Arizona Department of Water Resources says Buckeye and Queen Creek aren't in areas with that much supply. They could be impacted most. We want to make sure that development occurs in a very sustainable and resilient manner. And the assured water supply rules help us achieve that. The new rules could shift developers back closer to the Phoenix Metro where they can use the groundwater to build or they can find their own water supply on the outskirts of the valley. But that can add up. It's hard to imagine that the rate of growth will will slow. I just think that where the growth occurs will change and, and the cost of it might change as well. Dr. Sorensen says this could increase the prices of homes and it could take longer to build them too. That could impact people moving here from other states. And so they're always asking, you know, what is there enough water in Arizona? Vice President of the Arizona Association of Realtors, Cindy Reddy, isn't sure how much more homes will be because of this new rule, but she thinks it won't deter people from moving to Arizona. It, you know, it could mean that our prices are going to go up in addition to our appreciation. I still think there'll be good values for homes on the outskirts of town. Now, while growth in certain areas may slow down because of this new rule, most of the valley has assured water for 100 years and won't have to force developers to find their own water supply. This is really targeted towards towns and cities that are on the fringes of the valley. Well, and speaking of the fringes of the valley, Michael, we talk uh, about uh, maybe Buckeye, Queen Creek. What are they saying specifically about this? Yeah, so Buckeye says they have permits for developments. They are good to go at this point, and they have assured water for another 20 to 25 years of growth. Meanwhile, Queen Creek says all current residents have that 100 year assured water supply, but they do have a small number of undeveloped properties that do not have that. So those projects will need to find another source of water. This is a lot of information. We have more on this ruling on our website and news app. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Michael Rimondi for Arizona's family. All right, Michael, big store will be following closely. Thanks for that.